Hi there and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to show you how to deal with a dull, flat and lifeless image like this and bring all the pop and the contrast back in, but using the camera raw filter for a change. So I'm going to go onto the background layer here and right click and just convert it to a smart object so we can edit it non-destructively in a few moments. And then I'm going to go up to the filter menu at the top and I'm going to choose camera raw. Now normally this would be for adjusting camera's raw format files. But you can use it on any image, really, to just make um, just make use of the extra controls you get down here that you wouldn't necessarily have exactly the same in Photop. Um, just bear in mind that when you're adjusting these, you haven't got the complete depth of color to change as you would have on an actual RAW file. But anyway, at the top here, what we've got going on, we can see a lot by this little graph, which is called a histogram. So on the left-hand side of the hit where all this information, the lines are all bunched up, on the left-hand side, there's a big gap between where the edge of the box is and where this you can see these blue lines going up this cyan line going vertical here and that means there's no information in those very deeper shadow areas because it goes shadow on the left hand side all the way up to highlights on the right so you can tell that this is weighted towards lower mid-tones the whole image because all the information's gathered around here but there's nothing in the deep shadow tones which obviously matches what we see with the image looking very washed out so with the camera raw settings, what I'm going to do to do this is I'm going to take the black level here. So go down to the black slider and I'm going to start moving it to the left. And as I do that, you'll see that not only does the image start to get darker, but the histogram itself is moving to the left hand side and it's filling in more of that black shadow area that was missing from the original. Now, on this particular photo, the original had been treated like that intentionally for like a filmic sort of analog look, but we're we're just going to push it back to closer to how it probably would have been in the first place. So I'm not going to take the line all the way to the edge because that can introduce some other problems. I'm going to stop about there. Now, it's brought the depth back to the image, but obviously it's looking a bit too dark and grimy now. But we've got the black level where we want it. So now what we're adjusting are other tonal values in the image to just make it a bit more visually appealing. Um, in this case, we can do this with the shadows. So the absolute black level has been set and now I'm going to get the shadows and I'm going to move that to the right. All that's going to do is it kind of, it's not going to disrupt too much the absolute black that we've set as in the darkest of the dark shadows. But in this case, it's just going to start adding, it's just going to start moving some of those values away from that point. So we get a lot more of a balanced image with a lot of saturation and some nice contrast. Because if we'd have just taken the contrast slider and dragged that up from the original, it wouldn't have really helped because it would have added even contrast across the whole thing. So all the highlights would have been blown out and crushed and it would have, it would have lost a lot of quality. So we can play around a tiny bit with the exposure and the contrast if we like. I don't want to go too much though. See, I'm almost maxing out the shadows now because we've gone so heavy down with the blacks but that's absolutely fine so let's just get a nice little balance that we like i'm going to click ok and then we're going to check the before and the after using the smart object um, filter so that's the image we've got now and you can see how punchy and colorful and contrasty it is if i just click to turn off the smart object or the smart filter of the camera raw file that was our starting point so there are many ways to accomplish this kind of effect in photo p but I thought using the camera raw filter today will be a really good one to show you a new technique that you may have not used before. 